Hi guys, John from Cinematic Studio with a quick tip about how magnetic timeline works in Cinematic Studio. So first thing to note is that first time you drop a video onto the timeline, that track will become magnetic like this. So right now this track is magnetic. So if I drop another video, it will snap to the end. Note that magnetic only applies if you drop something past the end of the track. So for example, like this. However, if you drop something in the middle, then uh, magnetic will not apply. So for example, when I drop this, it will drop exactly here, like this. That's pretty much all there is to it. And uh, besides this track, by default, all other tracks are not magnetic. So for example, if I take this one here, it's not magnetic. If I drop this, it will be dropped exactly where I dropped it. But if I want to make a track magnetic, I just right click it and I say magnetic end of track. And now if I drag something else, it will be magnetic. That's pretty much all there is to it when it comes to magnetic tracks. Thanks for watching and as usual if you have any questions drop them below and if you have any suggestions for other tutorials drop them below as well. Thanks.